All right, welcome back. We're going to talk about solar power, its influence on Tennessee, and we're going to do that through the Solar Institute. Joining us is Dr. John San Severino to talk about an event this week, but let's first talk about uh, the Solar Institute, what its purpose is. Okay. Welcome, Doctor. Well, thank you, John. I'm pleased to be here. The Solar Institute uh, helps facilitate the installation of solar power across the state, but also we're helping provide assistance to companies in the solar industry throughout the state. It's part of the Volunteer State Solar initiative and this institute involves the University of Tennessee and, and what other folks are involved in it as well yeah primarily the University of Tennessee the Center for Industrial Services which is also part of the Institute for Public Service within the uh, University and let's talk about what's happening this week in Memphis as well that's a that's a big deal in the solar industry yes it is we're having our second uh, Tennessee Valley Solar Solutions Conference we're co-hosting it with Tennessee Valley Authority who's been big supporters of renewables uh, throughout the region uh, we have about 550 people coming to Memphis talk about solar from around the country and even as far away as Germany. We also have 60 exhibitors also coming from as far away as California, Colorado, Arizona. So it's going to be a, a good time out there. And you were just saying uh, off camera that uh, the, we, we were talking about solar being a little bit cost prohibitive in the early years, in the 70s and 80s. That's changed dramatically just in the last year. Yes, it has. Uh, prices have dropped about 50% as far as the solar modules go. Uh, we're seeing installation rates now of about $5.30 per watt on average installed, but we've seen projects as low as three dollars ninety six per watt installed that, that's great and are we seeing uh, homeowners take advantage of this as well as businesses there are some owners homeowners doing that a lot of demand on the residential side a lot of the incentives in place have been targeted towards commercial industry businesses however let's talk about uh, the solar industry in the state of Tennessee and specifically Knoxville as well Knoxville likes to pride itself as being a, a solar city that's right where, where are we with that and where do we look like statewide yeah, well Knoxville had that solar America city program uh, that started uh, sort of in parallel to the Solar Institute. We've had our own installation grant program. We provide uh, targeted incentives to businesses, and we've had a lot of activity in Knox County, Loudoun, and Blunt County as well. Statewide, some 6,400 people employed in, in the solar industry. Uh, yeah, that, and that's uh, probably a low number now. Uh, 6,400 in the solar industry, and Hemlock Semiconductor in Clarksville, and Vacker Kenny in, in Bradley County, they're coming online in the next year or two. They're hundreds of jobs. And for perspective, um, when you look at other states, I know there aren't direct comparisons that you can make, but no. where does Tennessee rank sort of in, in, in progressive solar industry work? Well, as far as capacity installed, we're in the top 20 now. And we're, that's, we've, we've grown a lot in the past two years. So we're in the top 20 of solar capacity installed. And we are a manufacturing hub. We got Sharp in Memphis, AGC Flat Glass in Kingsport, Shoals Technology Group in Portland, Vocker, Hemlock, and there's 175 other for-profit companies in the solar industry in the state. Dr. San Severino with the Tennessee Solar Institute, thanks very much for your time. We Thank appreciate you, John. It. Appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. Good to have you, and we'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back. This weekend, TVA and the Tennessee Solar Institute will host the second annual Tennessee Valley Solar Solutions Conference. It's going to be held in Memphis. The conference focuses on energy policy, technology, sustainability, things like that. Here to tell us a little bit more is Dr. John San Severino with the Tennessee Solar Institute. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Lauren. Pleased to be here. Yeah, you were telling me a little bit about how Tennessee has become a big player in the solar industry. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, Tennessee's had a strong manufacturing base in solar with, with Sharp, companies like Sharp in Memphis, making solar panels, AGC in Kingsport Port, and uh, Shell's Technologies in Portland, Tennessee. Plus, you've heard that Hemlock and Vacker are also building new facilities in the state. So Tennessee has been very strong in solar in the state. And you were telling me that there are some local businesses here that actually use solar panels in their yep, buildings. The, the Solar Institute has facilitated installation of arrays around town here. Uh, Calhoun's in Turkey Creek is one such uh, company. Uh -huh. And if you drive by, you can see some of them on their facade. But, but for the most part, they're not visible to, on the street. All right, any other businesses that we know about that are? Um, uh, there's quite a few in, in the area. Seacole Tools in Loudoun County, Wampler Sausage has a huge array out there in, in uh, Lenore City, for example. Sounds like a lot of uh, restaurants. Yeah, stuff. there's a few out th in the Cedar Bluff area in as well. In the Cedar Bluff area, yeah. okay. Um, for people who are thinking about solar panels in their business or homes, mm -hmm. is, is it cost effective to do that? I mean, are they expensive to get? The, the, the prices have dropped dramatically in the past year, about 50% uh, that have come down. Uh, TVA pays you for the electricity you produce. They pay you a premium. 
So that's kind of a revenue stream that comes back and helps offset the cost. And there's, and there's tax incentives out there as well. Okay, so you're going to go to a conference in Memphis. Yes. And, and tell me what the conference is going to be like. Well, we're trying to showcase Tennessee as a leader in the solar industry. Um, we have a lot of people coming from around the country. Uh, people are taking notice of what Tennessee is doing in the solar industry. That's really and, good. And, you know, it's a huge market, $139 billion market worldwide. Wow. Why shouldn't Tennessee have a piece of that? They should, definitely. All right, yeah. thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Pleased to be here. All right. Complete weather coverage.